Hello my friend, and welcome to Mission of Faisal Azib. I hope that you are aware. Now, before continuing to learn JavaScript, in this new section, we should first activate a special mode in JavaScript called Strict Mode. And here I have uh, opened my uh, folder in uh, VS Code. I already uh, have the folder uh, for this part to fundamental section in my computer, of course. Huh? And for you, as I explained before, this uh, starter uh, files come from the GitHub. I have added the, the project, Fundamental 2, that I showed you uh, at the beginning of the course. So use that GitHub repository as your starter folder. Or of course, you can just copy that uh, data somewhere as your computer and work from there. Whatever works for you. Okay? So that's our new working folder, and this time we already have the script uh, GS, zip file, and also we have uh, our HTML file. Okay? And we see that in the HTML, the script is also li uh, already linked. So we don't uh, have to do that this time. Okay? Good. At this point, I assume that you already know how to do that, of course. So let's now get started in this new section. And as I said, let's start with strict mode. So what is strict mode? Strict mode is a special mode that we can activate in JavaScript, which makes it easier for us to write a secure JavaScript code. I repeat. <coughs> Sorry. I repeat. A strict mode is a special mode that we can activate in uh, JavaScript, which makes it easier for us to write a secure JavaScript code or program. And all we have to do to activate strict mode is to write this uh, string in the beginning of the script to use strict and that is strict, sorry, use strict, there it is, just like this, so simple, okay? So we, you just write use strict at the beginning of the script. So with this, you activate strict mode for the entire script. Okay? Now, what's important is that this line of code, so uh, this statement, here basically has to be the very first statement in the script. It's very important. So if we have any code before this, the strict mode will not be activated. Okay? Of course, the comments are allowed because JavaScript we just ignore them, but no code before you strict. Okay, now we actually can also activate uh, strict mode only for a specific function or specific block, but I don't really see uh, the point in doing that. And so I always just use it at the beginning of each script, and so I believe that you should do the same. So always just put strict mode in the beginning, beginning of your script and like that I write more secure code. And when secure, I mean that strict mode, strict mode sorry, makes it easier for us developers to avoid accidental errors or bugs. So basically, it helps us introduce the bugs into our code and that's because of two reasons. First, strict mode forbids us to do certain things, and second, it will actually create visible errors for us in certain situations in which without strict mode, JavaScript will simply fail silently, without letting us know what we did a mistake. Okay? So again, first, strict mode forbids us to uh, do certain things, and second, it creates visible errors and the developer console, where in other situations, JavaScript will just fail silently. Okay, but now, to make this a bit more clear, of course, let's actually see an example of one of the most important change that uh, strict mode introduced. So, let's create 
a variable here with complicated name let's say for example uh, not complicated so let's say let or cause no problem has drivers license okay and let's uh, initialize this variable with false something like this and then i also create a pass test this cause this one pass test like this and i will uh, initialize it to true okay so i am using let in the first because i want to change it later and actually uh, this one uh, pass test it is not the case so basically there is a certain person which right now does not have a driver license but they just passed a test that's why we have pass test set to true and now we want to write some logic so that when they pass the test this uh, variable here gets uh, gets set to true so we can say if pass test okay because this one here is a boolean value and so this condition will be either true or false and then let's introduce a simple bug here so what i will do so this is a kind of hard to write variable name and so let's pretend huh? i repeat let's pretend that you are writing it wrong here so has dry ver li sense okay equal to something like this so what i did what i did here was basically omit the s so this letter here is not uh, in this variable that i am trying to change here to true and again that is an error i am making here on purpose huh? just to show you how strict mode can help us to avoid a certain kind of error because uh, doing this is actually more common than you may think okay and now let's log something uh, to the console if the person has a driver license and so now we're actually gonna go back to writing it correctly so if uh, here has uh, i write it correctly a driver license so this one is exactly the same okay and vs code highlights both as you can see if i click here you can see it's the same this one is also but not this one so let's uh, write uh, log to the console console.log oops and here i just uh, put message i can drive for example just to test of course huh? and now what i will do i will start by deactivating a strict mode again here okay now let's see what we get in the console so i reload and as you can see here uh, i didn't log i can't drive to the console okay i have nothing i, I haven't this log okay even though we had attempt to set has driver license to true here so we expected that driver's license being true should then log i can drive okay but it didn't work and that's because of the mistake that i just introduced here on purpose for getting uh, this s so without the error it should work right but without it it's not gonna work and again because basically here i set a new variable to true and not the original one so this one is uh, still false and that's why here this logging does not happen so now our program has bug which means that is has a mistake and we will now go ahead and find that bug 
but shift mode can actually help us with this so let's turn it uh, back on and I uh, save of course the file now I will try again and here what I have I got an error so here we can see that has driver license is not defined so in line number six which is right here and so this uh, message uh, error now tell us exactly what is wrong so it tell us that this uh, variable has driver license is not defined and then we can see we did um, a mistake here we are missing the s as i said before okay so now i will add the s again and here when i try again i have the message i can drive okay then the error is gone and so strict mode really help, uh, helped us avoid this kind of bug that you create here you can of course experiment a little bit with this to make it really clear huh? no another thing that strict mode does is to introduce a short list of variable names that are reserved for features that may be added to the language a bit later for example let's try to define a variable called interface interface okay for example for audio interface uh, and now when i try this that we see that we get an expected strict mode reserved word error message basically and that is began uh, is again because javascript is reserving this word here for feature that uh, it may implement in the future and so by reserving this kind of words it will then make it easier to implement the feature in the future so another one is uh, private for example okay and here uh, i just uh, inside it uh, for a number no not a problem oops const const of course i put for example 500 for example okay and uh, this one will also not work so look ah uh, sorry i will come on this one okay and as you can see also an expected strict mode reserved word in line 11 this one okay so what i have said and uh, that's because in the future there may be something called a private field and class or any other uh, some uh, reserved word in the language and they may want to use this word for that for, for that and so strict mode is have this word so we cannot use them for variables it's the same logic as this one so we cannot call a variable if for example right like this i will come on this one always and that's because uh, there is already a if statement so when i reload as you, as you can see an expected token if okay so here we can uh, get an expected token if so that's like the rules that i explained to you in the beginning about naming variables okay good now there are actually a lot of other change that affect things that we haven't learned about yet so that stuff like functions objects setting properties on primitive value and many more and i will mention them in the future video when the time comes but everything that i am gonna say in the rest of the course from now on we will always assume that you have strict mode turned on okay and so i will add it strict mode this line of code here to all the script in the future and so you should do the same anyway with this out of the way let's uh, now start the function in the next video inshallah
So I hope that you have understand bonus sisters what is a strict mode and the benefit to use it. Remember just one rule to put it in the first line of your script. Okay, only the first line. No code before strict mode, only command you can add it there. So see you next video, inshallah. Don't uh, forget to subscribe to my channel, Faisal Azib. And also to follow me on Instagram, teams.winners, Faisal Chico, Telegram, New Parties and Char, Twitter, uh, Teams Winners. Take care of us, stay motivated, strong, and positive. Actually, goodbye. Wassalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Thank you.